What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Let Us Pray, man. I tell you, uh, East Palo Alto got to have some of the worst drivers in the world. <laughs> Shout out to the bad drivers today, East Palo Alto. Um, man, it's, this is actually a very ironic. I started a video yesterday and I ended it like, nah, I'm not going to do a video. Uh, about coronavirus <laughs> and then boom like things just freaking exploded yesterday so here i am hope you're having a blessed and prosperous day it's your boy let us pray thursday um what is it march 12th 2020 yesterday was just uh freaking coronavirus just exploded all over the media uh first thing uh it was reported tuesday night that um three tsa Excuse me, pick up. Three TSA officials tested positive for coronavirus at San Jose Airport. Um, they're going to be quarantined for 14 days. Uh, they were in contact with possibly uh, 42, I believe, other <coughs> TSA agents. Um, then you got Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert, NBA player. Uh, I believe defensive player of the year a couple times for the Utah Jazz. Um, center, I think he's French. Uh, after his press conference Monday, uh, during the press conference Monday, uh, post game, he was making light of coronavirus. He went around to touch all the microphones on the desk. Um, came out yesterday, he has coronavirus. Um, and yes, let me say that again, Rudy Gobert. Center, defensive player of the year for the Utah Jazz. He has coronavirus. Shortly after, NBA makes a decision to suspend all NBA games until further notice. Um, this thing is getting real, man. It's getting real. Uh, it's getting real here. Um, it's going to affect a lot of workers. Uh, it's going to affect uh, players gonna affect the fans of course um it's just crazy man i'm not saying that this is something they should be scared of but it's definitely something that you know we have to take seriously uh we have to take this into account and in, uh our daily lives man you gotta be you gotta be uh sanitizing your hands um don't be eating after people uh it doesn't matter how well you know them uh, work people at work, you know, don't go out buying donuts and bagels for people um, Because you don't want to you don't know what anybody has uh, Tom Hanks and his wife have coronavirus uh, that came out yesterday as well uh, They're in Australia. So it, it's just it, it's just a lot of things going on right now with this coronavirus man um, I watched this movie called Outbreak movie's about 30 years old it's actually about a uh a monkey in the freaking jungle and uh i don't know if it was vietnam one of those countries uh they were fighting the war soldiers were getting sick and um they had this virus and they were getting bumps all over their face getting crazy fever and it was they, like they were dying in less than uh 48 hours so um government keeps everything on hush decides to just firebomb the whole spot with all the troops even the ones that weren't sick just to keep everybody quiet they killed uh man hundreds hundreds of soldiers uh for for the safety of uh the rest of the american people so somehow this monkey which was the host which, which you would call the host animal ends up in the united states um he gets loose and starts spreading the coronavirus on U.S. soil um, in California, in a small city in California. Um, and then uh, all heck breaks loose again. Uh, ends up that the government wants to firebomb this town to save the rest of the American people. Um, it's crazy. I'm not saying something like that will happen in real life, but it's just crazy how uh, some of these movies... Uh, seem to foreshadow things that happen in the future.
pretty wild. Um, but yeah, you should check out that movie, Outbreak. We got Dustin Hoffman, and um, I can't remember who the lady was, the leading lady in that movie, but Dustin Hoffman was the uh, the main character, the scientist. Uh, Morgan, was Morgan Freeman in there? I think Morgan Freeman was in there. Uh, Morgan Freeman's in everything, right? <laughs> but man, be safe out there. Coronavirus, be safe. Um, I'm not saying you should live your life in a bubble, but definitely uh, there's a lot of precautions being taken here in the Silicon Valley, here in the Bay Area. A lot of tech companies are uh, requesting or mandating now that people stay home, work remote from home. Uh, they're shutting down businesses. Uh, they're shutting them down, man. Till April, till mid-April, a lot of them. Um, also shutting down uh, schools. Uh, schools are gonna be out for a while, almost a month, some of them. Um, shutting down I mean, places like Google. Uh, I'm not sure about Facebook, but yeah, it's, it's just, it's wild, man. Um, just to see. I mean, there's no traffic. I freaking got to work in about 10, less than 10 minutes. This is crazy. I got to work in almost 10 minutes. Um, it usually takes about 25 to 20 when everybody's on the roads, but the roads are empty for the most part. Uh, like I say, I work for DMV. They said they're not letting us off, even though we interact with the public each and every day. Um, so I, that I kind of don't, I don't understand it, but I'm not opposed to it either because if they're not going to pay us to be off, then I don't want to be off. I need my money. Um, what else? Mm, I think that's about it for right now. Corona, man. It's all over the news. It's a real, it's a real thing. Um, like I said, just be safe. Be smart. Um, don't don't eat behind people. Um, stay with your sanitizer. Keep your hands uh, washed. Like I said, don't touch your eyes. Don't touch your face if, if you can help it. Um, that's easier said than done because, you know, you touch it and you get an itch or something. Your eye itches and your, your face itches. That's your natural reaction is just to, to scratch it or whatever. But, um, yeah. I have all types of sanitizer, man. I got wipes. I got hand sanitizer. Um, got everything. So just be smart, man. I want you guys to be safe out there. Coronavirus um, impacting the sports world. Um, a lot of events. A lot of mass events. I know the Google I.O. conference has been canceled. Um, a lot of festivals here around the Bay Area have already been canceled. Um... I'm wondering what they're gonna do about the Olympics. Maybe this uh, whole, uh, I hate to call it an epidemic, but uh, maybe this whole coronavirus thing might be over by the time uh, June, August hit, because this is the year of the Olympics, man. You got people coming from all parts of the world. Um, all it takes for one person to make that thing spread, man. And the Olympic village can, man, that thing can spread. They had a bad virus that spread, uh, in the world championships, I believe, um, a couple years back, you know, everybody's in close quarters and, you know, they kind of give you some insight on what kind of goes on at the Olympic Village sometimes and a lot of freaky stuff. So it's easy to spread, <laughs> easy to spread, man. Um, we got a lot of young people um, in their prime, you know. Uh, physically and sexually and you know things happen so it's easy to spread diseases um, quickly in that type of environment um, man I'm just praying over my family my friends um, that uh, you know God will cover us and you know none of us will you know come in contact with anybody that has corona um, and my prayers are out to you as well and your family and friends that um, you won't come in contact with anybody that has corona. Um, if you know someone that has it, my prayers, thoughts are out to them. Um, I mean, some stuff came out about Trump denying the World Health Organization's uh, 
testing uh, the product of testing that they had for Corona uh, back in uh, January because he wanted the CDC to have one first and uh, some things sound a little bit sketchy about that but I need to do some more insight before I get in depth and do an episode about that but I'm going to definitely uh, study up on it because uh, it sounded real shady it sounded real shady um, so keep an eye out for that episode coming soon uh, once I find more about find out more about um, exactly what they were talking about uh, him denying uh, their test because he wanted the CDC to have a test first which means he wanted the American company to come up with uh, the coronavirus testing uh, materials uh, and then that goes into the whole thing of who's funding this company it's the shareholders and all that type of stuff who benefits from uh, you know this American company providing these uh, testing materials uh, versus just using the one that the world or the the world health organization is already providing to all these other countries because of the global issue um, which a lot of other countries already had before the United States so um, yeah man uh, it's crazy it's crazy to think about um, airports uh, be careful at the airports if you if you're traveling um, if you're traveling uh, man if you're traveling internationally honestly uh, I wouldn't um, I don't know I wouldn't do it I wouldn't do it um, could be a sign that it's not not the right time to do that uh, but if you insist and if you invest a lot of time and money and uh, you're insisted on traveling internationally right now let's be safe man uh, be safe be safe out there uh, they're definitely going to be monitoring a lot closer monitoring people and um, keep your bags with you um, it's just it's just uh, you know it is kind of nerve-wracking to think about you know because you got all these people now that you don't know um, who has what and who's been in contact with who and all it takes is one person to be in contact with you um, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's, yeah, just so much to think about. So it's just one of those things where you have to pray and uh, just not worry and stress yourself out about it. But then at the same time, take the same precautions, take precautions and um, make sure that you're healthy, um, that you're practicing good, uh, good habits, washing your hands on a regular basis. Um, they say you're supposed to sing happy birthday twice, okay? You don't wash your hands like this. You want to get the knuckles, get the back of the hand. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Whoever you are. Happy birthday to you. One more time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Whoever you are. Happy birthday to you. That's how long you're supposed to wash your hands. Uh, two happy birthday songs, okay? So if you haven't been doing that, get on it. Uh, if you were doing it and then you got laxed, which probably a lot of people did, get back on it okay uh, so it's your boy let us pray man if you don't take anything else take that with you happy birthday happy birthday to you <laughs> happy birthday to you all right so uh man i'm out i gotta go to work but uh take care spoil let us pray have a blessed and prosperous day take care man peace and i'm out